Hello guys, today, I'm going to tell you everything about the new Easter event. But before we start, subscribe to my channel and leave a like so you don't miss any guides. In this update, we got 10 new Easter towers. Seven of them you can get for beating story mode. Two of them you can buy for new currency. And one tower you can buy for Robux. Let's start with story mode towers. On each floor, you can get Easter Urn with a 10% chance, regardless of the room. So on the first floor, you can get a Whiplash Bunny. Here are all the stats. He's pretty bad as a tower, so you can get him just for collection. To beat this floor once, you need to spend about 3 minutes. You can get Whishlap Bunny for 30 minutes, but that is an approximate time, so you can get it sooner or later. On the second floor, you can get a Terror Bunny. Here are the stats. As with Whiplash Bunnies, damage and speed are pretty bad, so you can get just one of them for collection. The second room is the best fit for a farm. The time it takes to beat one room is for minutes, so the approximate time it takes to get a Terror Bunny is 40 minutes. On the third floor, you can get a Brave Bunny. This tower has a little better stats than previous towers, but a Brave Bunny can boost other bunny towers. The first room on the third floor is the best place to farm this tower. The time is about 4 minutes, so the approximate time of getting this tower is 40 minutes. Fourth floor, on this floor, you can get an Axe Bunny Tower. Axe Bunny has 4000 damage with 0.5 speed, so he can be a pretty good early game tower. Room 3 is the best for farming, with a time 6 minutes. You can get this tower in about an hour of farming. On the fifth floor, you can get a Werebunny Tower. This tower has 21,000 damage at 0.5 speed. It's already much better than all previous towers, and Bunny has a creature tag, so you can boost it with Jeremy's for White Volv, and this tower will deal decent damage. The best room to farm this tower is the second room, with a time of 5 minutes and 20 seconds. On the sixth floor, you can get a Toxic Bunny. This tower can deal 35,000 damage with 0.13, and it also has AoE damage. The first room of the sixth floor is the best for the farm. On the seventh floor, you can get Chaos Bunny. This tower has 1,500 damage with 5 speeds, or 7,500 DPS, and it's actually pretty good. With a good curse and the right team, this tower can deal big damage. The best room to farm this tower is the first room on the seventh floor. On each floor, you can get a tower urn with a 10% chance, so it's really random. You can get an urn on the first try, or you can farm for three hours and still not get it. Now let's move to two towers that you can get for Easter eggs. So Easter eggs are a new currency that you can get by beating any floor in story mode. You just need to choose Easter mode, and you will get Easter eggs instead of Gems. Here are the best rooms to farm Easter eggs on each floor. On the first floor is room number one, one second floor is room number two. On the third floor is the second room, on the fourth floor, it has room number three, on the fifth floor, it has room number four. On the sixth floor, there is room number 5. And on the 7th floor, it is room number 5. If the last room on the 7th floor is too hard for you, you can farm the first room, even if it will give you a little less Easter eggs. For 2,500 Easter eggs, you can buy Bunny Boucher or Bunny Tron. Let's start with Bunny Basher. This tower can deal 15,000 damage with 0.5 speed, or 3,750 DPS, so it's a little worse than a Toxic Bunny, but still a pretty good tower. Bunny Tron. This tower also costs 1,500 Easter eggs to buy. Bunny Tron will boost other Bunny Tower damage by 20%. So if you are going to make a Bunny Team, this tower is a must-have for you. And the last tower is Night Hair. You can buy this tower for 1500 Robux in the shop. Night Hair deals 50,000 damage with 0.1 speed, or 5000 DPS. Night Hair also has for tags, 
so you can make any team you want with this tower. The event will run for two weeks and will end on April 12th. All of these towers are pretty good, but I recommend you farm for the Chaos Bunny and Toxic Bunny, as they have the most damage and will have the biggest value if you want to trade them. If this video was useful to you, subscribe and give it a like. Thanks for watching.